Today on Sci Guys, Mentos and Coke. Run away! Welcome to Sci Guys. In today's episode, Mentos and Coke Geysers. I'm Adam, and where's Ryan? I'm Ryan. Don't look right into the geyser. The ingredients you're going to need for this experiment include a 2 liter bottle of Diet Coke and a package of Mentos per bottle of Diet Coke. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous today, it's never a bad idea to wear a lab coat or apron and goggles to protect from spills and splashes. What we realized after doing this a couple of times is that we needed something to stabilize our Diet Coke so that the bottle didn't go flying. What we used is an old planter full of some gardening soil to stabilize around the bottle. The first step is to remove the cap from your Diet Coke bottle. Once you have the cap off, quickly put the entire stack of Mentos into the bottle. <laughs> well, after our first attempt in getting really sticky, we decided to try a toy nozzle to see if that works better. You can buy these toy nozzles at craft, science, or toy stores. Let's try that one more time. This time we're going to move the camera all the way back to see if we can see the top of our geyser. Three, two, one. Oh, that's better. As you can see, our geyser reached around 20 feet. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. First, we have to look at what makes a carbonated beverage so special. A carbonated beverage is a liquid that has had carbon dioxide dissolved into it. Generally, liquids and gases don't like to mix together, and a gas wants to leave a liquid. So bottles are pressurized, forcing the carbon dioxide to stay dissolved in the liquid. When the lid is removed, the pressure in the bottle decreases and the carbon dioxide in our liquid is slowly released into the air. The tiny bubbles you see in your soda are filled with carbon dioxide. If a carbonated beverage is shaken or stirred, more carbon dioxide than normal is allowed to release, which creates large bubbles and foam. If we drop a Mentos into the bottle of Diet Coke, the Mentos bumps into carbon dioxide molecules, creating the same effect as stirring or shaking, but at an increased magnitude. Each Mentos has tons of tiny ridges and pores. These ridges increase the surface area of the Mentos, allowing them to bump into tons of carbon dioxide molecules, and because so much carbon dioxide is being forcibly released, liquid is also forced out of the bottle in the form of tons of foam. This reaction creates a large Coke geyser. Diet Pops produce larger geysers than Pops with sugar, because aspartame reduces the forces keeping the carbon dioxide in the liquid and allows for a faster release of carbon dioxide gas. Well, that's it for Mentos and Coke. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, remember to drop us a comment below, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, you can drop us a message on Facebook or in the comments below, and we'll try to help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.